Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to design this Facebook login page using HTML and CSS. And this is also responsive. So if you decrease the width of the browser window, this is how it will look on smaller screens. So let's get started. Right here, I have created this folder called Facebook and I just opened it with VS Code. And I also have a folder called images over here and that we have this SVG for the Facebook logo. So let's go ahead and start with creating the necessary file. So let's create a new file and let's name it index.html. And let's also create a CSS file. I'll just name it style.css. All right, let's start with the index.html file and in VS Code, you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. All right, let's link our CSS file over here and uh, Let's start with the markup of our design. So the first thing we will do is we'll create a container division and let's give it a class of container. And in this we need to have two sections, one for this left part and the other for this right section. So let's create a division with a class of left. And in that we need to have this Facebook logo. So for that let's create an IMG tag and in the SRC let's type images forward slash Facebook dot SVG. And then after that we need to have this text. So let's copy this. And let's create an H2 for that. And let's paste the text over here. All right, that's it with the left section. Now let's go ahead and create a division with the class of right. And in the right section, we need to have this login form. So for that, let's create a division. And let's give it a class of form container. And in that, let's create a form. And I'll just remove the action. And in this form, we need to have two input fields. So let's create an input field. and uh, Let's set the type to text and let's add a placeholder. And the placeholder is going to be email address or phone number. Right now, we need to create another input field. And uh, the type of this one will be password. And here for the placeholder, we need to type password. Right, the next thing we need to have is this button. So, for that, let's create a button. And here we need to type login. And let's also give it a class. So let's type class and uh, the class will be btn. Right now, the next thing we need to do is create this anchor tag. So after the button, let's create an anchor tag. And uh, here, let's type forgotten password. And the next thing we need to have is another button. So let's create a button. And uh, here let's type create new account. And for this also let's give it a class of BTN. Now for this button we have a different color. So let's give it another class. And let's give it a class of green. So we'll style all of this in the CSS. And then in the end we have this uh, text. So for that let's create a paragraph outside this form container. And uh, here let's type create a page for a celebrity brand or business and this create a page is basically a link so let's add an anchor tag over here and let's add this create a page text inside this anchor tag and now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks so i have this extension called live server installed in vs code so once you have this installed, you can just right click in the HTML and click on open with live server. And now here we can see our page is being displayed in the browser. Now here we can see we have this create a page text, but it should also be bold. So further, let's go ahead and add this anchor tag inside a strong tag. So let's cut this ending tag from here and let's paste it after the anchor tag. And now if you go back here, we can see that this is now bold. Right now, let's start styling this. So let's go to our CSS file. And first of all, let's target everything and uh, let's set the box sizing to border box so that we have the correct width and height for all the elements. And then let's target the body and let's set the default margin to zero. And we'll also add a background color and we'll set it to F0, F2, F5. Right now, let's go ahead and select all the anchor tags and let's remove the underlines. So let's tap A and let's tap text decoration and let's set it to none. And now we can see we don't have the underlines. 
Right now, let's also set the font for the body. So let's type font family. And we're going to use a font called Helvetica and sans serif. Right now, the next thing we will do is we'll just decrease the width of this logo. So for that, let's type container. And that we have the left division. So here we can see inside the container, we have the left division and in that we have the image. So let's type IMG. And let's set the width of the image to 300 pixels. And uh, this is how it looks. Right now, let's go ahead and style the container. And we want the left section to be on the left side and the right division to be on the right side. So for that, let's type container. And let's set the display to flex. And now we can see that they are side by side. And let's also set the height of the container to 100 viewport height. And let's align everything to the center. Right now, let's add a max width. So let's tap max width. And let's set it to 1060 pixels. And let's also bring it to the center. So let's tap margin inline, which is margin left and right. And let's set it to auto. And now we can see that the content is in the center. Now let's also add a padding. So let's tap padding of zero for top and bottom and 40 pixels left and right. And uh, let's also set a gap between these two sections and let's set it to 80 pixels. Now we can see that we have some margin around this uh, image. So let's add a negative margin over here. So let's tap margin and let's set it to negative 28 pixels. And now it looks all right. Right now let's go ahead and uh, add some negative margin to the margin top of this uh, left division because here we can see that the left section is a lot to the top. So let's go ahead and target the left division. So let's tap container left and let's tap margin top and let's set it to negative 120 pixels. And now we can see that it is in the correct position. All right now let's style this H2. So let's type H2. And let's set the font weight to normal. And uh, let's set the margin top to 16 pixels. And let's also set the line height to 1.3. And let's set the font size to 24 pixels. Right, that's it with the left section. Now let's go ahead and start with the right section. So the first thing we will do is we will text align everything to the center. So let's type container right and uh, let's set it to text align center. Right now, let's go ahead and bring all these uh, form elements one below the other. So here we can see that we have this form element and in that we have these input fields, the button, the anchor tag and uh, the other button. So let's target the form. So I'll just have form and uh, let's set the display to flex and flex direction to column. And uh, let's add a gap of 14 pixels. And uh, this is how it looks. Right now, let's style the container of the form. So we have this division with the class of form container. So let's type form container. And uh, let's set a padding of 16 pixels. And let's set the border radius for rounded corners. And let's set it to 8 pixels. And let's add the background color. And let's set it to white. And let's set a box shadow and let's set the value to 0, 2 pixels, 4 pixels RGBA, 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.1. And we will add one more box shadow. So let's tap 0, 8 pixels, 16 pixels RGBA, 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.1. So now we can see we have this box shadow. Right now, let's set a width for this uh, form container. So let's tap width and let's set it to 396 pixels. And uh, Let's also add some margin bottom. So let's tap margin bottom and let's set the value to 30 pixels. Right now, let's style these input fields. So let's tap form input and let's add a padding of 16 pixels and let's set the border radius to 8 pixels and uh, let's set the font size to 16 pixels. Right now, let's set the border. So let's tap border. And let's set the border to one pixel solid. And for the color, let's type DDDFE2. Right now, let's add the same font family over here. So let's tap font family and let's set it to Helvetica. Sans serif. 
Now if you go back to the original design and if I click on this input field, we can see that the color of the placeholder changes. So let's do that. Let's go back and let's type form input colon focus colon colon placeholder. And now when we focus on the input field, these styles will be added to the placeholder. So let's type color and let's set the color to A9, A9, A9. So now if we click on these input fields, we can see that the color changes. Right now let's also change the color of this outline. So let's type form input colon focus and uh, let's set the outline to 1 pixel solid 1877F2. And now we can see we have this custom outline. Right now let's style this anchor tag inside the form and let's change the font size. So let's type form A and let's set the font size to 14 pixels. And uh, when we hover over this, we need to have the underline. So let's tap form A colon hover and let's tap text decoration underline. And now let's also change the color of the anchor tag. So here let's tap color and let's set the color to 1877F2. And let's set the padding bottom to 20 pixels. And uh, let's set the margin bottom to 20 pixels as well. And uh, now let's add this border that you see over here between this button and this anchor tag. So for that let's type border bottom and let's set the value to 1 pixel solid and the color will be DDDFE2. And now we can see we have this border. Right now let's style these buttons. So let's go ahead and type BTN because for the button we have this class BTN. So let's type background and let's set the background color to 1877F2 and uh, let's set the color of the text to white and uh, let's remove the border and let's add some padding. So let's type padding and let's set the padding to 12 pixels and let's type border radius for rounded corners and let's set it to 8 pixels and let's set the font size and let's set it to 20 pixels and we'll set the font weight to 600. And let's also set the cursor to pointer. So let's tap cursor pointer. And now when we hover over this, we can see that we have the pointer. Right now let's style this uh, green button. So here we can see we need to have this green color. And we also need to change the width of the button. And we also need to have this hover effect. So let's go ahead and type dot btn dot green because for the green button we also have this class of green. Now for this button let's set the font size to 18 pixels and uh, we will set the background color to 42B72A and uh, let's set the width of the button to fit content and let's also bring the button to the center so let's type margin 0 auto. And let's also add some margin bottom. So let's tap margin bottom and let's set it to 10 pixels. And we'll also decrease the margin top a little bit so that we don't have much space over here. So let's tap margin top and let's set it to negative 10 pixels. And that looks all right. Right now we need to add the hover effect. So let's type btn green colon hover. So let's set the background color to 3CA727 and here let's add a transition. So let's tap transition and let's set the value to all 300 milliseconds ease. And now we can see we have this horror effect. So everything is working all right. Now here we can see that we have this paragraph over here. So let's style this as well. So if you go back here we can see that we have this right division and in that we have this paragraph and in that we have this anchor tag. So let's style that. I'll just type right P and let's set the font size to 14 pixels. And now we need to change the color of this anchor tag. So let's type right P A and let's set the color of the text to black. And now we can see it looks all right. I think we can increase the font size a little bit. So let's try 16 pixels 
and I think that looks alright. Alright, so that's basically it with the desktop version of our Facebook login page. Now let's go ahead and style the mobile version. So for the mobile version, we will have a breakpoint of 900 pixels. So whenever the width of the browser window is less than 900 pixels, we will add different styling. So let's tap at media, max width of 900 pixels. And when we are on a mobile screen, we want to display the left and the right divisions one below the other. So let's tap container. And in the container, we have the left and the right divisions. So let's tap flex direction and let's set it to column. So let's decrease the width of the browser window. And now we can see that they are one below the other, but the left division is above the screen because we had added some negative margin. So let's fix that. So here, if we take a look at the left division, we can see that we had added this margin top of 120 pixels. So let's copy this and let's paste it down here. And uh, here for the margin top, let's type 40 pixels. And uh, we also need to bring it to the center. So here in the container, let's tap text align center. And let's also set the gap between the elements to 20 pixels. Right now, let's style this H2. So let's tap H2 and uh, let's set the font size to 24 pixels. And let's set the width to 400 pixels. And let's set the line height to 1.2. So this is the mobile version. So that's basically it with the mobile version of our Facebook login page. With that, we have completed designing this uh, Facebook login page using HTML and CSS. Right, so that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below and I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.